Welcome back to ABC 7 at 4. Well, right now I'm joined by a very special guest. If you have a man or a special man in your life, you'll want to listen closely to our very next guest because I'm joined now by Gabe Canales. He's a national men's health advocate, a speaker, an author, and a writer. At 35, year old, 35 years old, he was diagnosed with prostate cancer, and it was that wake-up call that helped him live healthier and happier. Canales is on a nationwide tour to educate men on the simple steps to improve health and encourage men. Gabe made a stop to El Paso. Gabe, thank you so much for joining us, and I know you told me a little bit about your story earlier, but tell us a little bit more. Uh, it'll be short, but a little bit more about your story. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. This is so incredibly important because millions of men miss their checkups and cancer screenings during COVID. So there's a ticking time bomb right now and catching early is always the best way to treat disease. Um, so I was diagnosed with prostate cancer at 35. I had no family history and no symptoms. A checkup led to me having that diagnosis. Without that checkup, I it would have progressed and gotten worse. Mm -hmm. So my encouragement to all the women watching this program today, encourage the man in your life. Ask him, have you gotten a checkup? encourage them to go get that checkup. Ask about cancer screenings. It is so important when you get that checkup, you ask your doctor, what do these numbers mean? What is blood pressure? What is blood cholesterol? Mm -hmm. Blood sugar and BMI or body fat percentage. Those four are incredibly important. So know your numbers and ask questions. Discuss cancer screenings. Your PSA for prostate cancer, colorectal cancer screenings, testicular cancer exams. Every man should know how to self-exam. It's important to have that dialogue and to not be ashamed or afraid to ask those questions. A few other tips, it's incredibly important. The number one killer of men in Texas is heart disease. But here's the hope, 80 to 90% of those deaths are preventable. How? Diet and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. The number one cancer killer of men is lung cancer. But guess what, 90% of those deaths are attributed to cigarette smoking. Mm -hmm. So we know that adopting changes, adopting healthier lifestyle changes can make a significant difference. Mm -hmm. And you were telling me a little bit earlier that you are on a tour. You know, tell me a little bit about what that looks like and you know, what's your message? My message is for men to take small steps to improve their health for, for better overall physical and mental health. We saw during COVID that there's a mental health crisis in this country. We already had one, but it was exacerbated by everything that we've experienced over the last few years. And when you have poor mental health, you also have poor physical health. By me sharing my story mm -hmm. and what I've experienced over the last decade, I hope to chip away at the stigma that men have, especially Hispanic men. Mm -hmm. Hispanic men, there's a lot more of a stigma that we have culturally in discussing these issues. So my message is to give one of hope and recognize that you can make small changes. At, when I had my diagnosis, I was 40 pounds heavier. I had higher blood pressure, high cholesterol. I wasn't in good physical health, mm -hmm. nor was I in good mental health. Small changes every day. It starts with small, simple changes. And your audience can learn more at bluecure.org, where every single day, they can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, at Blue Cure, we post information, statistics, and tips for men to improve their physical and mental health. Perfect. And tell me a little bit about those testimonies you have heard from men or even women who, yeah. who have encouraged men. What have they told you? I, I've heard from men all over the country, and what they are most appreciative of is knowing that someone else was able to share their journey. I, and and men, are, men relate to that. One of the ways of breaking down the stigma that we have is by people, you know, talking about... So like I've experienced anxiety, I've experienced mm -hmm. depression, I've experienced other health issues. By sharing those issues, a lot of men often think it's just themselves that, that go through those, those, those things, and it's not. A lot of us experience that. But we start tearing down those walls and we make progress when we're mo more open. But we also have to you know, take that extra step and go to the doctor. And if you don't have insurance, there are resources available. You know, contact the county. Contact, there are so many nonprofit resources also available where you can, you know, get that care that you need. Perfect. And before we go, you have a book coming out. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so unexpected, my unexpected diagnosis, prostate cancer and the wake-up call to live healthier and happier, shares my journey, my decade-plus journey of living with prostate cancer and how men with other health issues, my journey can help them live healthier and happier whether they have mm -hmm. heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. And it teaches men what simple steps they can take to uh, have that change in their life. And where can people find it? So they can go to the website, bluecure.org, and they can learn more information there. Um, they can also go to my website, gabecanalis.com. So bluecure.org and gabecanalis.com. 
Perfect. Well, Canales, thank you so much for thank joining you. us for ABC 7 at 4. We'll, we'll be right back after this break.